What's up YouTube? Welcome to PhD in Waves. In today's video, we're going to go over the differences between a grease pomade and a hair butter. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is because these two products do very similar things, but it's super important to understand the differences between a grease pomade and a hair butter because you either want to be using a pomade or hair butter depending on where you are in your wave journey. And once you know the similarities and the differences between these two products, you're gonna understand which products you should be using so you could benefit your waves the most depending on where you are in your wave journey. So first, let's go over the similarities between these two products. So a grease pomade and a hair butter, these are very thick products. So when you have thick hair products, they're basically styling products and they can help hold your hair down. So if you're a waver, obviously you know you wanna keep your hair laid down. A pomade and a butter do a great job at helping to hold your hair down. Also, a pomade and a hair butter do a good job at providing shine to your waves. So if you want shiny waves, Using a grease pomade and a hair butter definitely will help you achieve that nice, shiny, silky look to your waves. And the last similarity between a grease pomade and a hair butter is they help lock in moisture. So once you like moisturize your hair, either with water or moisturizer, a hair butter and a grease pomade can help lock in that moisture. So those are basically the similarities between a grease pomade and a hair butter. Now let's talk about some of the differences between these two products so you could understand which product you should be using during your wave journey. All right, so firstly, let's talk about this grease pomade. Right here, I have Murray's. I'm sure if you're a waver, you already know about Murray's. Murray's is like a thick grease pomade. So a pomade is technically a styling product. And what that means is a styling product basically holds your hair in a particular style. So a pomade, Murray's, it's gonna help hold your hair down. It's gonna give you that silky, shiny look. I know some girls that use Murray's to lay down their edges and people with longer hair, they could use a pomade to slick up their hair. So pomade has a lot of uses for hair and for styling purposes. So those are some of the good things that you could get from using a grease pomade. Now let's talk about some of the drawbacks to using a grease pomade. So the first thing, it's kind of obvious, but like a grease pomade is very greasy. So what that means is it's gonna leave your hands very greasy. And since it's so greasy, it's gonna be pretty hard to wash out of your hair. Uh, the grease just builds up in your hair and it's gonna cause a lot of product buildup and it's gonna weigh your hair down over time. Another thing with grease pomades is it doesn't really provide your hair with any benefits, any health benefits. It doesn't really provide your hair with any nutrition. It simply just helps to style your hair. But outside of that, it doesn't really provide your hair with any benefits. There's no nutritional value for your hair or any health benefits for your hair. So let's go over the ingredients. In this Murray's uh, pomade, it has petrolatum, mineral oil, and fragrance. And basically those are heavily refined ingredients. So there isn't really any health benefits that it's gonna provide to your hair. So basically this product is just gonna help style your hair, add some shine and lock in some moisture. But outside of that, it's not really gonna benefit your hair in any way. And those are the drawbacks from using a grease pomade. All right, now let's talk about using a hair butter. A hair butter does pretty much everything that a grease pomade could do. Like I said, it could help lay down your hair, hold your hair down. It also could provide a lot of shine to your hair so you could get that silky, nice, shiny look to your waves. And also it can help lock in moisture to your waves. So obviously a butter could do a lot of the same things that a hair pomade could do. But right here, I have 100% raw shea butter and shea butter is a lot more beneficial for your hair than using a grease pomade. So shea butter along with a bunch of other hair butters provide a lot of nutritional value to your hair. So if you didn't know your hair needs a lot of nutrition, just like your body needs nutrition, your hair also needs a lot of nutrition. So right here, like I said, I have shea butter. Shea butter provides so many benefits to your hair, such as softening your hair, uh, it could moisturize your hair. It can help repair your hair. Uh, if you're dealing with frizz, it can help repair that. It could also help soothe irritation to your hair and your scalp. 
And as you can see on this label, it says ultra healing all over hydration. So obviously shea butter has a lot more benefits to your hair than using a grease pomade. Even on the label, it says a bunch of stuff on the label. It says this product provides multiple benefits, comforts irritated skin, deeply moisturizes dry cracked lips, hydrates chapped lips, soothes dry irritated scalp, protects hair from heat, and softens skin and hair. And then it also says provides high concentration of essential vitamins A and E and essential fatty acids to deeply moisturize. So obviously using shea butter for your hair is going to help improve the health and the appearance of your hair. But using like a grease pomade, it's only going to improve the appearance of your hair. But using shea butter, it's really going to improve the health of your hair. So obviously health is more important for your hair for the long term. You shouldn't just focus on the appearance of your waves. You also want to improve the health of your waves for the long term. I mean, look at the labels. If you look at this label, it just has the logo on the front and on the back, it just has the instructions and the ingredients. But if you look at this label, um, you know, it says a bunch of stuff, ultra healing, all over hydration, fair trade, made with natural ingredients, intensive hair and skin moisture. And it just tells you all the benefits of using shea butter. So obviously shea butter is a lot more healthy for your hair. Also, shea butter comes from natural ingredients. If you didn't know, it comes from the shea tree. It comes from like shea seeds, and then it's naturally made into shea butter. But like I said before, a pomade is heavily refined. It goes through many processes to get a grease pomade. So obviously, there's not really going to be many benefits to your hair simply because it's so refined and processed. So I know what you're thinking. Obviously, we should be using shea butter. We should just throw away the grease pomade. But right now, I'm going to tell you when you should be using either a grease pomade or a hair butter. So nine times out of ten, you should be using a hair butter instead of a grease pomade simply because uh, hair butter, such as shea butter, provides a lot more benefits to your hair. It's going to make your hair stronger and healthier. A grease pomade doesn't really provide you any benefits. So nine times out of 10, you should be using a hair butter instead of a pomade, but you should be using a grease pomade in some extreme circumstances. And I'm going to tell you those circumstances right now. So the first circumstance is if you're a beginner waver, if you're a beginner waver, your hair doesn't really know how to lay down on its own. Your hair isn't trained at all. So I would say you should be using a grease pomade instead of a hair butter simply because a grease pomade is a lot stronger. It's gonna work to lay your hair down a lot better than a hair butter. So that's the first uh, circumstance where you would use a grease instead of a hair butter because a grease is stronger. It's gonna help lay down your hair. The second reason you should be using a grease pomade over a hair butter uh, is because you're wolfing. If you're doing a heavy wolf and you're having trouble laying down your waves, you should probably use a grease because it's stronger and it's going to help uh, lay down that last layer of your waves. It's going to help to get rid of any frizz just because it's stronger than a hair butter. And the last reason why you should be using a grease pomade over a hair butter is if your crown is having trouble laying down. Obviously, everybody sometime in their wave journey struggles with their crown area because it's just a multi-directional area of your hair. And it could be extremely hard to lay down and train that area. So a grease pomade could actually help lay that area down because it's such a strong grease and it's going to help lay down your crown area. Other than those three reasons, I would just suggest you use a hair butter because it has so many benefits to your hair over a grease. And a grease doesn't really have any benefits other than appearance. So nine times out of ten, you should be using a hair butter. So before I end the video, I just want to show you guys the consistency of this 100% raw shea butter so you guys know what you're getting into. So this is the consistency. It's a super thick product. So look, look how thick that is. It's just a big glob of, you know, shea butter. And basically what happens with shea butter is you would get it and you would just wait this is too much and then you would uh you would melt it in your hands it basically melts into your hands as you can see my hand is shiny now that basically melted into my hand and it turned into 
you know, it basically turned into a natural grease for your hair. So that's why I love shea butter. It's basically like a natural thick grease for your hair. And it's also going to provide your hair with a lot of hair benefits. So that's basically the consistency of shea butter. It's very thick. It's very heavy. And you would basically melt it into your hands and apply it to your hair. Um, it's basically like a solid oil. It's basically like a solid oil. Um, it melts down into oil. So obviously oils provide a lot of shine to your hair, just like shea butter. Shea butter provides a lot of shine to your hair. I'm just going to put this on my face because it's 100% natural shea butter. And you could put it anywhere. And that's another benefit to shea butter. You could put it anywhere, not just on your hair. All right, now let's look at the consistency of this grease pomade. I'm sure you guys know already, but I'm going to show anybody that doesn't know the consistency. So I haven't used this yet because I don't really put grease on my hair. So it's like, it's like solid. Like I said, like, look how thick that is. It's like a solid. It's sticky. It's sticky. It's just a very solid, you know, it's greasy. It's solid. It's sticky. It's a very thick, sticky consi consistency. And that's mainly why I don't put it in my hair because it's just it's just going to build up on my hair. It's hard to wash out. So I just stick to hair butters and I just stick to like other moisturizers because they're a lot healthier for your hair. All right. So those are the main differences between a shea butter and a pomade. Obviously, they have some similarities because they add shine to your hair. They help hold down your hair and they help lock in moisture. But obviously, you should be using hair butters more often and you should only be using a grease pomade for extreme circumstances so if you guys learned something new in this video make sure to hit the thumbs up button always make sure to subscribe if you learned something new also follow phd and waves on all social media platforms at phd and waves and with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video what's up waivers thank you so much for watching today's video make sure to head over to phdandwaves.com to grab your do-rags your brushes, and other Wave products. As a special thanks for watching today's video, use discount code PHD10 to get 10% off your order. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.